I am so excited. It is one of the first Fridays of this month that I'm actually going to be in Boston and just I'm just going to bum out in the apartment and just get a lot of shit done. So this video is going to be general life updates. I have a couple of new things that I really, really like and I want to show you guys. I used to have a monitor that sat over here. I didn't really use the monitor that much. So I got rid of it and it feels like a huge weight has come off of my shoulders. I actually feel more clarity because there's just less stuff. Such a weird thing, but yeah. This is the High Sierra Kragen, C-R-A-G-I-N backpack. This is the backpack that I used to go hiking in the Grand Canyon. It was a 17 hour hike. This is a good backpack if you want to do like day trip hiking. Also has a water pouch in it. This is a two liter wide slide hydration system. And so you can put water in here, hook it up to the back of your backpack. This guy comes through the sleeves and you can just uh, drink your water from there. So after the hike, Paloma and I, we both got patches like this so we can iron onto our denim jackets. Rim to Rim Grand Canyon National Park. Quaker Oats, oat so simple. This is the pack of oatmeal that I got from London. If you saw my London haul, I will link that video down below or maybe I'll figure out how to use cards today. Their oats are so good. I don't understand. So I compared this oats to American oats side by side. I used the same amount of oats. I used the same amount of milk and this one was just so much better. And the only difference I can tell is that these oats are about half the size of the American Quaker Oats. I am so sad because I'm I'm running out of these. I was walking in Boston the other day and Johnny Cupcakes is a store in Boston. And if you think they sell cupcakes, they actually don't. They are a t-shirt bakery. They had these free magazines. The magazine is called Baker Zine, like Baker Magazine. I guess they only have this for a couple of days where they put out a stand outside of the store and you can grab it for free. Otherwise you have to pay I think it's like $30 for it. Very well produced, like the cover, the texture, it feels really nice. Their graphics are amazing. Yeah, yeah. Flawless Mom Victory. In the States, Mother's Day is approaching on May 14th. It's a time where you should show extra appreciation for your mom or the strong female figure in your life. If you're looking for ideas, look no further. And so they have 10 ideas going from like make your mom's breakfast on her special day, tell her how valuable her advice has been, help find the matching lids to the Tupperware in her kitchen. Very important. That they do like special collaborations. Marilyn Monroe, a Nickelodeon collab with like Hey Arnold, Rugrats, Spongebob Squarepants. They did Looney Tunes. They did a G-Shock collaboration. Shut up, a G-Shock collaboration? This is Carla A. Harris's Strategize to Win, the new way to start out, step up, or start over in your career. It's not even considered self-help. I've read some other self-help books where it's like, you have to do this, and you have to do that. And by the end, you're just like, oh my god, what do you want from me? And she just gives you a whole ton of ideas. These are things that you should keep in mind when you enter a rotational program, or your first job, or if you want to accelerate your career, these are things that you should be thinking about. Or even if you want to start over, how do you do that? How do you look at yourself and your past experience and say, okay, well, even if I want to shift 180 degrees to a totally different career, totally different industry, what have I learned so far that I can bring over there? I wish I had this book when I was graduating. I think it would have put me in a better mindset. When I have my full book report on this book report, I haven't done a book report since elementary school. I will link that in the description box below. There are also two podcast episodes that I thoroughly enjoyed over the last couple of weeks. The first one is from the Tim Ferriss show. It's episode 243, How to Fear Less with Vince Vaughn. I haven't watched too many of Vince Vaughn's movies just because in general I fall asleep during movies. You really got to understand what Vince is like as a person, how he thinks and how that helps him in his career as an actor and also as a TV producer and anything else that he does. He's still very funny and I think a lot of what he says is very applicable to people as human beings. So I definitely recommend you guys to go listen to that one. The other one that I really enjoyed is from The Moth. The Big Oops Blunders Large and Small. I will have both of the podcast links down below. 
This one, I, I loved all three stories, but the second story is my favorite. It's a story about siblings and how the older sibling didn't really like the younger sibling until very much later in life. And the storyteller was a surprise to me. It's Hassan Minaj. He is a Daily Show correspondent and he actually has a Netflix comedy special which I haven't watched yet and if I do really like that one maybe that'll I think that'll show up in my next uh, general life updates and loving things yada yada yada. I'm super excited about I did open it and, and I touched one of the things but I didn't touch all of it because I wanted to touch it all in front of you guys. <laughs> The Muse White Edition. So, another beauty YouTuber that I watch. I believe her name is also Jen. Her channel is called Meej Muse. She spent two years working on this brush collection and she released it, I want to say in 2017, maybe in like March or so. I bought it because my Amazon brushes are slowly falling apart one by one. Could I have waited a little longer before buying this? Yes. First of all, holographic Ooh. and this white like it's holographic everywhere and this packaging what magnet and over here it says handcrafted with love from eh. oh from korea 100 percent cruelty free Miz muse love and kisses wait xoxo is that love and kisses or hugs and kisses i think it's hugs and kisses Ooh. Dear Muser, the box you are holding in your hands is the result of over two years of my careful love and curation. I truly hope they also bring you joy as you get yourself ready to step out into the world, shining uniquely, wonderfully, and boldly with confidence. Remember, you are truly beautiful from the inside out. Love, Mij Muse XOX. A brush guide. Some tips over here on how to take care of it. Oh my god. Ah! This is... Oh, she did right here. Number 170. So she also put the name of the brushes over here. This is rolled powder. Roll on application of loose and pressed powders. Oh, it's so soft. 171 flat powder. No, what's happening? than the 170 fluffy semi-dome. Do you see that? Do you see that? I hope I have no more problems. Damn it! Is this just me? Ugh. I may have killed that one for no reason. I'm so pissed. 172 angled foundation. A soft but dense angled foundation. Ooh, it's really dense. With curved edges, just like slightly curved. I don't know if you can tell. Um, assist in the seamless buffing of liquid or cream foundation. This one is the... Go down, Juliet. Go down. 173 angled brush. Um, designed to offer an even and precise placement of blush right where you want it. See, like, when you do that? You want a 174 precise contour. You can contour under the cheekbones, jawline, and temples, or to sweep on extra ultra smooth application of highlight see but this one you can't fit it underneath oh i can concealer brush deceivingly soft 176 small blender small domed eye brush for small eye area blending that prom promises never to prickle 177 flat eyeshadow Ooh, guys, it's so soft. Just, oh. 178 pencil eyeshadow. For larger eyes, use an increase. And for smaller eyes, use along the outer V. Would it be considered large eyes or small eyes? I feel like I'm just medium eyes, aren't I? Last but not least, we have 179. This is the eyeliner brush. Ooh, maybe I can try a bold wing with this one day. Guess what? They had a massive sale going on and I was like, I kind of want to indulge myself. There's this thing. What is this? I have no idea. It's something artistic. Phone case. I'm not the type of person to change my case at all. And my current case is so disgusting. I've tried cleaning it so many times, it feels really gross. 
Oh, look, I feel so artsy now. Pretend you can't see the straps. What do you guys think? It's kind of like... My boobs are kind of like squished. The next one is this dress. It's like this. I'm gonna try this on after I shower. This crazy dress. I can't even zip myself up. This place, this area is so tight. These European people are tiny. I should have went up to a US size eight. All right, I'm super excited because I just finished a bottle of dry shampoo. My favorite brand is Batiste. Right now, I'm just using baby powder as dry shampoo because I bought a little thing from CVS for my travels and right now I'm just kind of like, do I need to buy a bottle of dry shampoo when I have baby powder? I also finished a bottle of lotion, Cetaphil lotion. This is from Costco. Also finished my shampoo, which is from Dove, I think bought it at Costco. <laughs> I'm working through my stockpile of stuff. Ever since college, I've just been carrying around packs of aluminum foil and plastic bags and stuff, and I looked in our shared cupboard the other day, and we're down to like the last one of everything. But Physicians Formula Hashtag InstaReady Setting Spray. It is hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, dermatologist tested and clinically tested. I'm almost finished with my current setting spray from L'Oreal and I was like I'm going to give this a shot. Revlon Ultra D Matte Lip Color Metallic and this is in 700 Flare Eclair. Can you see that? Urban Decay collaboration with Jean-Michel Basquiat. He is an artist from the Neo Expressionist movement and quickly rose to fame on the 80s art scene in New York City. We open it. Even the inside of this packaging. It's so cool. And then there's a little uh, thing when you open. And then you open it and it's these vibrant, vibrant colors. Revlon in 625 iced amethyst. And it has it has little pearls in it, so it looks like that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So that's what I bought recently. I'm going to return at least two of the clothes because apparently my boobs and European sizes don't really match. I probably have to go up one size, which is totally fine. I'd rather not have clothes where I just didn't fall in love with it the first time, you know? I have my FabFitFun box coming soon, either tomorrow or early next week so I will shoot that later. I'm so upset. I think I have to find my warranty for this camera and see if I can get a replacement because the on off button is so hard to turn on and off now that every time I do it my thumbs hurt and I'm so upset. So I just came back from a really long day of helping out Marina at a festival and I came back to a package and I know which one this is. This is the Fab Fit Fun. Before I open it, I want to share this new color. So I went to the festival with these green eyes and kind of like a muted red. I was thinking to myself, you know what? I really should have went with a really bright red. If I wanted to go crazy, I might as well go crazy all the way, right? And hopefully make it work. I don't know if this is making it work, but I went to a super tiny CVS and the brightest red I could find is from Katie Cat Matte in Crimson Cat. Crimson Cat Chat Cremoji. Cremosi. Are you guys ready for Fat Fit Fun? Because I'm so ready for Fat Fit Fun. I'm not a huge hat person, but I thought this was really, really cute. It is a hat with a little cacti on top. Let's hope I don't look like a fucking idiot. I think I could work with this. I wonder where my Lakers hat is. I haven't seen it in a while. I must have accidentally packed it somewhere. I hope. I hope that's the case. This, which I don't remember getting. This is from Nectar. Oh no, I did get these. It's supposed to help protect rays when you're using the computer. I use so much computer from work and everything else. I wanted to give this a try. It's supposed to kind of save your eyes. Oh, I... <laughs> it's not horrible. It's just like the frames are really wide. Sol Janeiro. This is a company that makes the Bum Bum Cream, which is in, in an orange tub. But they had this one, which is a travel size acai body power cream. 
the faint smell. It's not too bad. I like it. I like it. So uh, we'll see how this goes. This is from Dr. Brandt. Power Dose Sunshine Vitamin for Skin. Helps improve radiance, helps promote skin bounce, increases hydration. Experience a shot of radiance with Dr. Brandt's unique formulation that improves skin's barrier function. Similar to the effects of vitamin D for a more hydrated, supple, and radiant skin. Why am I struggling? Oh, they like put the, they put the stuff, the sticky stuff. Sunshine Vitamin for Skin. I bought this Vitamin D because 8 out of the 12 months in Boston. I don't see this on that often. And I'm definitely one of those people who gets seasonal affected disorder where I'm very susceptible to depression and feeling like super gloomy and like lethargic. It's not that, that I'm like miserable in Boston, but it. I figure anything to help me. And that's also why um, when I first moved out of college, one of my friends, she moved back to Florida she had these two happy lights which are the lights you see in the back over there and i actually have it on my desk right there they have like the same effect as having a sun on your face obviously in my room i don't have any sunlight and i feel like the happy lights they have kept me from sinking into major depression or just major glumness why is this dropper lopsided okay no smell really I don't think I need to use it right now because summer is here. This is, I'm not sure, but it says SNH, Summer and Rose. Another glasses? Okay, I definitely did not get sunglasses because I already have enough sunglasses. Yo, let me check if they charged me for this because mama did not get this. I think they gave me something extra. I should tell them. This is a cute bag though. Girls just want to have sun. Now we have the actual box. The box is so pretty. I'm, I'm in love. First, we have a magazine. It says, hello summer. Hello indeed. This is just like extra that they put. Vital proteins, marine collagen, dietary supplement for hair, skin, nails, joints, and bones on flavor. So beauty from within. Collagen is the vital building block in our bodies. It helps support youthful skin, healthier hair, stronger nails, bone and joint health, and overall digestion. Use daily to improve post-workout recovery time, increase overall fitness, and achieve a lean body. Okay, let's talk through the easy stuff. There is this water bottle, which I have seen around before. It's heavier than I thought. It's the company BKR. It's 500 milliliters, and they have a little tip. Set reminders on your phone to drink at least 250 milliliters of water every hour. And this is a 500 one. It is nice. It's not um, a straw, which I don't use anymore because they're so hard to clean. You can spend a fortune on your face, and trust us, we do. But makeup and skincare do their best work on skin that's hydrated and glowing from within. I totally agree. So they had a choice of an add-on where you could either choose a traveler, an artist, or a chef. And I chose Traveler because, one, I'm not an artist. That would not fit me. Chef, I'm not... I wouldn't call myself a chef. I, I cook decent food so I can survive. So I chose the Traveler one. And it is from Understated Leather Passport Book. With the words on the road again. This is cute. I'll use it. I'll totally use it. And then we have um, a luggage tag from Cargo HD, it's a beauty line. Formulated for high definition filming, Cargo HD highlighter contains specialized photochromatic pigments that reflect light to provide a radiant per picture perfect finish. How to use? For a radiant warm glow, sweep onto cheekbones and temples with a large fluffy brush. It is pretty. This is from Michael Stars. This is a Ruana Scarf Sarong. Oh my gosh. What shape is this? It's kind of like, if you think of a pair of pants, it's rectangle or square on top, and then you got these like two legs. 30 plus ways to wear the Ruana. To drape it, take the two front panels and drape it over your shoulders like a shawl. I feel so stylish. Scarf. Fold the Ruana in half lengthwise, and then you can wear it as a sarong. Take this, the two legs, and then it looks like, and then you hide it. But then like if I'm wearing a swimsuit, I have a bare butt. I think it's 
it's this way. And then maybe you do some, something fancy like a tuck. And then you get a little more, but you also get a little like, hey. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. <laughs> so you gotta choose between fitness or beauty. I got uh, Chlorine Refresh and Revive Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk Gentle Formula All Hair Types. And this is right after I said I finished my Batiste Dry Shampoo and I wasn't going to buy any more because it had baby powder. Thank you. <laughs> it has natural absorbent microspheres which eliminate dirt, oil, and odors. Chris Nations, this is the Mystic Bar Necklace. The stones are hand cut by craftsmen in India and each one has an attribute that helps you live every day with positive intentions. The turquoise promotes balance, discovery, and confidence. I'll take it. Next thing we got is Juice Beauty Smoothing Eye Concentrate. Moisturize and smooth any dark circles and fine lines with this eye cream. It has certified organic grape and carrot juices blended with essential fatty acids to hydrate and nourish the eye area. I'm going to butcher this. Euthermal Aveen. Euthermal Aveen? This is the Ultra Light Hydrating Sunscreen Lotion. Fast absorbing matte finish, 50 plus SPF. Right now I am using the Soap and Glory sunscreen, but after I was already like thinking, oh, what happens for fa facial sunscreen once I finish using that? So this is coming at a perfect time. Um, protect and nourish your skin with a sheer lightweight sunscreen. It contains broad spectrum SPF 50 plus UVA UVB filters and is enriched with powerful antioxidant and soothing Avene Thermal Spring Water. How's that for hydration? I think all of these things that I got in the box and outside of the box that I'm super excited about, these guys have come at the right time. I will see if my eyes hurt less. I will try wearing this every time I'm using the computer at home. I probably won't bring it into work yet. I'm not ready for everybody to laugh at me and be like, uh, excuse me, didn't you just get LASIK? <laughs> I think I might have to donate some of the bottles that I have just like in the cupboard. I, I just have way too much for one person. The Ruana thing, the weird pant leg scarf thing. I'm excited to try that. I will try a couple different ways. Oh, I'll make a video on me testing out the 30 plus ways that they're gonna wear this. I'm still burning the one candle that I have right now, which is the one that I picked up when I was in California. It smells like Joshua Tree and it smells so good. I don't know, it, it just gives me a sense of peace. It makes me feel like I'm at home and it just smells great. At the festival, Marina's tent was set up next to this woman who makes soy candles. The scent is called Blue Moon reminds me of beer. Um, it is made with oak, moss, and amber. It burns this much, can burn for 45 plus hours. And just... <sighs> so that is general updates. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. My name is... Juliet. With, With a nugget, nugget of chua!